Hey YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to do a Let's Play video. Basically a YouTuber uh, commented asking how do I do a voiceover while I'm playing the game. Okay, you're going to first off need a microphone, either that plugs into your sound port or it is USB. Either one will work for this. And the next thing you're going to need is Audacity, which is a voice recording program. I have the link in the description below. Okay, if you get onto that link, click it it will take you to this page SourceForge here you'll see it says audacity 2.0 installer click that click save file okay while this is downloading if you look below that link I have another one for visual C++ 2008 SP1 redistribution package now you're only gonna have to go to that link that when you install audacity and try to open it and it gives you an error now if that doesn't happen don't worry about going to that link but if it does happen which uh, I've been reading it does happen and it happened to me you will have to go and download that package and we'll go over that next so don't worry about that for now alright uh, when this is done downloading I actually already have it installed so I'm not gonna show you how to install it you'll just have to install it yourself not really a big deal you just click OK next seven times and it's there <laughs> it's just like any other program on the internet okay once that's done double click run this is where you would click OK at next seven times but I'm just gonna X out now if you open it and get that error please get onto the second link it will take you to this page right here uh, click download you're gonna wanna click save file keep in mind if you didn't get the error just skip this part alright double click it click run and you'll see it'll give you an option to repair or uninstall. You're going to want to click repair. I'm going to do it just for the say so of this. So click repair, click next. Okay, now you have Audacity fully functioning. So you can X out of everything. Alright, next thing you're going to want to do is open up Virtua NES. If you don't not have this, it's a Nintendo emulator, please go to my page. I have a tutorial on how to use it, where to get it. Uh, if you're not that far into it, please go to that and get caught up. But once you have it, uh, open up Virtua NES, then go to the game you want to play. I'm going to do Ninja Gaiden. So I'm going to open that. Now I want to start the uh, recording for the gameplay so I'm gonna get to edit movie record I'm gonna call it test run uh, I'm gonna have to replace it you won't have to do that now you can minimize it it will actually pause the gameplay while it's waiting for you to open it back up that's kinda cool about virtual NES now the next thing you wanna do is open audacity Now you have to make sure the microphone is selected and working. You'll see this microphone icon right here. If you click the down arrow, yours probably won't be this long, so you'll actually be able to see where it says microphone. But if you see at the end of this, the beginning of the M right there, that's basically the microphone one. You just can't read it. So I had to, I had to click that just to get my mic to work. You may or may not. You can try it out. All right. Uh, now that you have that, you're just going to click the record button here for when you want to start recording the voiceover for the gameplay. So I'm clicking it. Hey, blah, 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 blah. You can see it coming up there. Now you want to go record the gameplay while you're recording your voiceover. This is Ninja Gaiden, made in 1989 by Tecma. This is a review. Act 1. Hey, you little turkeys. Ah. I mean, you're going to record whatever you want to say right here. 
eat shit. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Alright, once you have everything recorded, all the gameplay and voiceover, you're going to want to stop everything. So go to Edit, Movie, Stop, File, Close, and stop the recording in Audacity as well. Just basically going into it and clicking Stop. Now, you're going to want to convert your gameplay you just did. So go to Edit, Movie, AVI, Convert. Actually, I'm not going to show you how to do this because I already have the tutorial for that. So please check my website. I'm not going to waste the time there. I'm going to focus more on Audacity now. Now basically, you're going to want to edit out the parts that you don't need. That's like... Okay, I'm going to stop it here. I don't need this chunk for the recording. That's basically where I said, you know, we're about to record, etc. So I'm going to highlight it, go to edit, remove audio, delete. Now everything after that I want basically. So I'm going to go to file, export, I'm going to call it uh, test run, save, click OK. Basically you have to record the voiceover and the video at two different times not two different times I mean you have to record it on two different locations two different programs there we go because you're gonna wanna go into Windows Movie Maker once you open up Windows Movie Maker you're gonna go to import video find the uh, Ninja Gaiden video that you created it's basically under your Nintendo folder where Virtual NES is in movie. Just go in and click Test Run VoiceOver. Or whatever you called it. This will take a second or two. So basically what we're doing is we're importing both the video and the voiceover. And we're going to put them into Windows Movie Maker. So they're on top of each other. They're basically playing at the same time. The video editing is the tricky part, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh my god, there it is. Now once you see it up here, you're going to want to take it, drag it down to video here. Now we have the video. Now what we need to do is import the audio. You'll see I called it test run. You'll see it uh, loaded up here. You're going to wanna click and drag as well below the video. And you'll see it's longer than the video. I mean, you could shorten it up so it's the same length by doing that. I mean, you have to tinker around with video editing. I'll click Edit Undo Trim and explain that a little better. Sorry. So you basically click this or this, depending on what you want to edit. I'm going to do the audio down here. And if you go to the end, you'll see these arrows. So I'm going to click there where I see it and drag to the left until it meets the clip. Now what I've done is basically added the voiceover in. Now that you have everything lined up, click on the video. If you go to clip, audio, you're going to have to go to volume. You have to turn this down because it's absolutely going to be louder than your voiceover. So I eyeball it, go to about right there, click OK. Now you want to go back down again. You want to click the audio, go up to clip, go to audio, volume. Now you want to turn this up just slightly, not too much, or your voice will be muffled. Now I'm going to try and play it and see how it goes. I know it's going to be muffled. I honestly I can't use hypercam and try to play it so what I'm gonna do is once you're done uh, editing your clip go to file save movie file I'm gonna call it test run uh, click next I use high quality setting here it 
will normally be on this by default. I go down here to other settings, click down, get a high quality video large. I'm going to click next and it's going to save the movie file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this video file to my YouTube account and make it a video response to this tutorial just so you can see how it turned out. Alright YouTube, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll try and help you out. I know this was a tough one. Video editing is not easy and that's basically what you got to do when you create a let's play video. You have to edit the sound in the video in Oh, it's it's annoying because you have to record them separately, then add them together, then edit. Oh, you you guys are gonna be confused here. <laughs> I mean, you just have to tinker around. If you click play while you're editing, you can see how it sounds, how it comes out. But uh, please go see the sample. And any questions, I will try to help you out.